Alrighty, welcome back to the email marketing Rainmaker video series. We're in video number two out of five videos, completely free videos helping you make it rain in your business using email marketing. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to build an email list, the modern 2020 way, or I should say the Sean Anthony way because uh, the way that I do it is a little counterintuitive. counterintuitive. It's not like what most people tell you to do. You're gonna see exactly how I do it in this video. So uh, where are we at in the series here? Video number two out of five, how to build an email list. And here's what we're gonna to cover today. First, the three reasons to start building an email list right now, as in today, right after you watch this video, how to build an email list for free, how to speed up list building with paid methods, why I never run paid ads to a free bait or a free lead magnet. And this is what I said, counterintuitive to what most people tell you to do. And then the flywheel method to grow. This is a unique method that I use to grow your list and your social media audience all at the same time, if that's what you want to do. So three reasons to start building your list right now. Well, it doesn't matter what niche you're in or what industry you're in, what you sell, products versus services, B2B versus B2C, doesn't matter. It's all the same, right? Every entrepreneur should be building their list. And here's three reasons why right now. First, it's an asset that you control. And I'm gonna tell you a horror story from a few years ago. Uh, my business, I was in the e-commerce space and most of my sales were being driven through Facebook advertising. And one day I wake up, I log onto my computer, I try to log into Facebook and I get this message that says, your account has been permanently disabled. So I was like, what the frick is going on? They never told me to this day what happened to my profile and why I got banned, my personal profile. But here's the worst part, okay? So I couldn't log into my profile but Facebook decided to continue running my ads and I panicked. So I turned off like, like I turned off my landing page. I turned off like my website because I was worried like there was something on my website that caused it to happen. So I turned all this stuff off and then I get a bill for like $3,500 like a week after my account gets shut down, you know, to add icing on the cake. And I was basically, that's basically money I lit on fire, right? It was going to a dead page. So just $3,500 down the drain, I lost a significant portion of my income because it relied on Facebook advertising. And that brings me to this point, right? What does that have to do with email marketing? Well, having your own email list is an asset that you control. And it gives you protection from situations like that. So if Facebook or Instagram or YouTube, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, if they ever ban me from using their platform, I would still have a business. I would still have my customer list, my email list, and I would still have a way to make money. I wouldn't have to worry about how I'm gonna you know, pay my bills the next day. So it's an asset that you control and it really gives you protection from situations like that. And situations like that do happen. If you look at social media these days, there are celebrities and authorities and huge figures with massive followings getting deleted from these platforms. And nobody is safe. There's that cancel culture going on. Everyone's calling each other out and shaming each other. Uh, so you're never safe on social media. You should be building your email list to protect yourself and protect your business, protect your income. Number two, it's a sales machine. So over 50% of our sales are driven via email today. And the best part, it costs, it costs nothing to send an email. So I can choose to send an email to my list right now. I could choose to send three emails or five emails even. I don't, I don't wanna spam people, but it costs me nothing to send these emails. It's, so it's 100% profit. Whatever sales I make on that, that's just cash, that's just cash right in my pocket, right? So I don't have to pay anything for advertising. I don't have to pay any extra like Facebook ads or Google ads or YouTube ads. Once they're on my list, I can send out an email whenever I want and make sales from that, okay? Uh, so it's also a relationship builder, very important. Every time you send an email to your list, you build that relationship equity. So the stronger the relationship is with your list, the more sales you'll make, and the more that your customers are gonna choose you over competitors, they're gonna be warmed up to you and your brand. Like if you are sending out an email every day and you're warming yourself up to your list and you're building that relationship equity, they're getting to know, like, and trust you, they're gonna pick you over competitors who are not emailing because they feel like they are bonded to you. They feel like they know you. They feel like they love your brand, right? Because you're emailing them and you're in their ear every day. So these are the three reasons you should start building your list right now. And these things, of course, they take time to build up. But again, it's an asset you control, gives you protection. It's a sales machine. It can drive a significant portion of your sales and it builds that relationship with your prospects and your customers. So you can keep them for the long run and, and have them pick you over competitors. So how to build your list from scratch for free. Let's talk about how to do that. Well, the goal here is to get your first 50 subscribers, okay? If you're just starting from scratch, 
you have no business, or even if you're just spinning out a new offer, the goal here is to get your first 50 subscribers using the method I'm about to talk about here. So this is gonna validate your business before, or validate your offer before you spend a ton of time and resources creating something that nobody wants. And this has happened to me just countless times, I'm embarrassed to say, where I just got so excited about a product or a service that I wanted to roll out and I, I spent all this time working on it and then I roll it out and nobody wants it, there's crickets, right? And this happened to me about a few times now and there's one time where I built an entire health supplement company and I spent about $125,000 of my own money to join these high ticket masterminds and I, I bought all these custom supplements, about 6,000 bottles of custom supplements that were like $12 a bottle. And when I went, went to go out and sell it, I couldn't sell it at the price that I wanted to make a profit. Uh, the advertising costs were high, it just wasn't selling and it was I actually lost a ton of money on that business, on that health supplement business. So uh, this is gonna help you validate your business before you spend a ton of time and resources creating something that no one wants or that isn't going to be profitable. So let's get into the mechanics here. Step number one, create a simple bait. And I'll show you some examples in a sec. This should solve a problem for your niche, a specific problem. And it could be in the form of a special report. It could be a cheat sheet. It could be a video, a downloadable template, some kind of tool, a challenge or a mini email course, right? And all these things, you can actually put a price tag on later as well using what I'm gonna show you in, in a few slides from now. So step one, create a simple bait. Step two, create a simple opt-in page. The opt-in page should ask for their email address in exchange for the bait, whatever that bait is. And step number three is to validate your bait, right? Remember that we want 50 subscribers for this bait and we wanna make sure it's not like your friends or family members, right? Just people that don't know you or that are not super close to you in your inner circle. So ways you can do that, you can post about it on social media, you can include the opt-in link in your social media bios, you can put it on your website. If you have a website, you can use it in your email signature and you wanna get 50 subscribers. You wanna gauge the interest. Are people interested in what you have to offer? Okay, so let's take a look at an example. I'm gonna minimize this here and show you uh, an opt-in page. So let's see, yep, here's one here. This is a simple opt-in page. So you see right here, free cheat sheet, five-step winning formula that we use to go from zero to seven clients in 30 days. In this free cheat sheet, you will learn the proven formula to get your next client in the next 30 days, the exact actions you need to take on a daily basis to turn cold prospects into interested leads and how to leverage Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram to get clients for free. So this is a very specific result, right? Uh, it helps them get clients for their business. And if they click this, they can put their first name and their best email address and they can download the cheat sheet and it gets sent to their email, okay? Now, uh, what I also do is, that's pretty cool, and I'll show you this in a second, or at the end of this video, is I have a Facebook group here and you can see that whenever somebody joins this, they enter in their email address and it's for that same cheat sheet, right? So it says, enter your email if you want a five-step winning formula that took us from zero to seven clients in 30 days. It's the same cheat sheet, but what happens is when I click this approve button, I use a tool called Group Funnels and it ports them over to my active campaign account. And you can see this, uh, this is a live campaign. This is from my Facebook group. You can see 12 people are in it right now. And what happens is they get put into the sequence. So this email here, it sends them that free cheat sheet. You can see here, it links to it here. And then what I do is I follow up an additional, well, how many emails we got here? Uh, nine emails to try and sell them my front end offer, which we'll talk about in just a second here, okay? So that is an example of a, a simple bait that you can roll out, right? It's a, it's a cheat sheet, it's for free. And I validated that by creating this Facebook group and seeing people join my Facebook group, okay? So that is an example of a free bait. I'm gonna hop back into here. Let's go present mode again. And next, let's talk about how to speed up list building with paid methods. So once you've validated your bait by getting 50 subscribers, it's time to speed things up and make some money in the process, right? You guys all want this, making money. So uh, how do we do this? What are the mechanics here? Step one, create a passive income product. What is a passive income product? It is a low ticket digital product that sits at the front of your business and generates you sales every day without your personal involvement. It also should, if you can break even on this, like if you're spending money on paid ads and you're breaking even from this passive income product, that is amazing. That means that you are acquiring customers for free, which is awesome. So whatever this is, your passive income product, it should be related to the bait you validated using free methods. 
and you're gonna price it in the $5 to $50 range. And again, I'm gonna show you an example from my own business so you understand. Uh, step two is to create a sales page to sell your product. So this is out of scope for this series. This is a series about email marketing, not about sales pages. Uh, but if you want a awesome, timeless book on sales pages, I recommend picking up Dan Kennedy's The Ultimate, Ultimate Sales Letter book. And then step three is to drive paid traffic to your sales page. So we use YouTube and Facebook for paid ads, and we look for a 3% conversion on cold traffic. And this is also out of scope for this series, but I may have something in the future for anyone who needs help with, with sales pages and running paid traffic. So let's take a look at an example of this sequence here, uh, passive income product, a sales page and driving paid traffic to that sales page. So I'm gonna exit out again, passive income product. So this is one of my passive income products. I have multiple different passive income products. And this is an ebook called Six Figure Drop Servicing. It's $5 and 60 cents. And this is the sales page here, okay? And then they click this, send me the book. It takes them to this order form here. And uh, yep, I'm gonna go back. And let's go to my YouTube channel. And you can see here, this is the YouTube ad. I'm not gonna play this right now, but you can see here, 807,185 views. I'm still running paid advertising to this. This is a live ad right now. So it's two minutes, 53 seconds, and it's running, uh, this ad is running on YouTube and it's driving people to this sales page here, right? This, this uh, ebook sales page, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna hop back into here. That is the sequence here. I created a passive income product, which is my ebook, and it's related to this five-step winning formula because this book talks about how to get clients for a service business, how to build a service business from scratch and get clients and scale that to six figures or more per year. And you can see here, it follows the sequence. Passive income product, sales page, driving paid traffic to that sales page. I believe this is getting around a 5.5% conversion rate on this sales page here. I, I gotta go check again. But uh, that is how to speed up your list building with paid methods. Now, let's talk about something important here. Why never run paid ads to a free bait, right? So a lot of people will say, run paid ads to like, if I, that cheat sheet, for example, run paid advertising to that, right? And then you, you nurture people and then you get to, to pay for your paid product. I'm gonna tell you why I never do that, okay? I tried that before, I wasted a lot of money doing that. And the reason why is despite what many of the gurus say, I'm never using paid ads to drive traffic to a free bait. And the reason why is because I want buyers on my list, right? I want buyers. I don't wanna get into debt attracting freebie seekers. So when you run paid advertising to a free lead magnet or a free bait or a free whatever, you get a different type of person. Okay, so I'm not saying not to have organic, like free cheat sheets or lead magnets out there. You can see I still have them like within my Facebook group. Whenever someone joins, they can say they want it, but I don't ever run paid advertising to a free cheat sheet or a free lead magnet. And it's because I want to attract buyers. People are gonna spend money and not people who are looking for all the free stuff online, okay? So this is why we validate our bait with free methods first. Then once we get 50 subscribers, we use paid traffic to build a list of buyers. Now, once someone becomes a customer or a buyer, we can sell them other offers on the back end. So for example, I have the ebook on the front end and I have some, some lower ticket courses around client acquisition to help them out with that, some DIY courses. And then I have like a coaching program on the higher end of things, right? Where people can sign up for that. So I have some people who just buy the ebook. I have some people who buy the ebook and the, the mid-level courses. Then I have other people who will buy the ebook, mid-level course, and the highest level coaching program because they want all the support possible. And even on top of that, I also have done for you services and consulting services where I go into their business and I just do it for them. And that's like at the premium level, okay? So I have all of these different offerings at different tiers. And my goal is to get customers in. And if I can get them for free or even make a profit, get paid to make to get customers, that is awesome to me, right? That's what I want. So it might be different from what you want. You might be more obsessed with building a list and just having a big list. I'm okay with the smaller list and having it be all of buyers, people who have spent money with me, which is, I mean, that's what I want. So uh, let's talk about real quick, the flywheel method to grow your list and your social media audience at the same time. Okay, so this is the way that it works and you don't have to use the exact channels that I'm using. Uh, but I would recommend having like your Facebook group in there. So I'm gonna show you real quick what this means, the flywheel method. So the way that it works is I post a YouTube video 
and I post the video every you know Tuesday and Thursday I do a live stream. So I post the video on YouTube and I have a link in the comments and the description that lead people to my Facebook group. And as you saw in my Facebook group, people can enter their email to get a cheat sheet, right? So they are watching my YouTube video, they're subscribing to my YouTube channel, uh, they're watching my content, they're you know building that, I'm building that bond with them as they're watching my YouTube video. They like the YouTube video, they hop over to my Facebook group, they give me their email address, and now they're also on my email list. And now I can email them every day, right? I can, there's some automation email set up and there's also some daily email set up. And now I have all these three platforms growing at the same time, and I have one person who is viewing all my content on all these platforms. They're seeing my YouTube videos, they're seeing my Facebook group posts, and they are seeing my emails daily on my list, right? So I'm building that relationship quickly and I'm building all these platforms at the same time. So uh, I'm gonna show you an example real quick so you can see it in action what's happening. I'm gonna go to my videos here and I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Uh, so. This is, oh, I actually just, this is perfect because I just launched this Facebook group. So you can see here, I posted a video, content creators, why it's deadly to build your business on social media, do this instead. So I'm trying to attract content creators and people who create any kind of content or info products and I want to work with those types of people. So I'm creating YouTube videos around that and I'm trying to get them into my group about email marketing. So they can click, you can see here, join my new email marketing Rainmakers Facebook group. Also in the description, join my group here. Uh, and I also link to my, my uh, passive income product as well. You can see my six figure drop servicing ebook. If they click on this, it takes them to my Facebook group. And again, you can see, I didn't launch this yet, but you can see 42 people want to join this group from, and I, the only place that I'm talking about this is on my YouTube channel. And you can see here, uh, where is it? Email, they're giving me their email address. Enter your email to get my subject line secret special report. So again, I am building my YouTube channel. I am building a Facebook group. And I'm also building my email list. The most important part is getting them onto my email list, right? So I can sell them my, my products, services, and offerings. Uh, so let me jump back in here. That is the flywheel method. And I love this method. Uh, I don't, I just, I don't know if I learned this specifically from anybody. I've learned how to do Facebook groups from certain people and how to send emails and how to create some YouTubes, YouTube videos. But I kind of just created this system uh, just by posting videos and having it all siphon to one another. So I love this because it builds all these at the same time. I can create, I could take one email that I create and turn it into a video, post it on my Facebook group, post it on the YouTube community tab, and then send it out to my email list and just build all these platforms at once. So that was a bit of a ramble, but uh, let's go back into what we covered. Quick recap. Talked about the three reasons to build, to start building your list now how to build an email list for free, how to speed up your list building with paid methods, and why running paid ads to a free lead magnet is risky, why I never do this, and the flywheel method to grow your list and your social media audience at the same time. And that's it for this video. Next week, we're gonna talk about how to make money from your email list, the different types of revenue models or the different types of business models that you can use with your email list. If you wanna join the Facebook group, go to emailrainmaker.com. That'll take you directly to the Facebook group or you can join and I'll be opening it up real soon here. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys like this, got value. If you have any questions, comment below and I will see you next week.